So they're making another Twister movie. I'm done with legacy sequels. But given how some of you seem to like hearing my opinions on newer movies, or even ones that haven't come out yet, maybe I can at least get some mileage out of this stupid idea. Probably more than the filmmakers will anyway. Okay, that's being a little presumptuous. I don't want to spend all this movie just bashing a film I haven't seen without giving it a chance. This is more about Hollywood's current state as a whole, and how this movie, for whatever reason, was really the straw that broke the camel's back in regards to me just being fed up with big budget filmmaking for the time being. Because up until recently, almost every legacy sequel, which is just shorthand for a follow-up released many years after the last installment of a franchise, at least made some semblance of both artistic and monetary sense. Series like Star Wars and Ghostbusters take place in a universe that have a lot of potential for different kinds of stories to be told. On top of being cultural juggernauts with a lot of nostalgic appeal, meaning there will almost always be a market for new adventures in that world, there's also just a fair amount of story potential which means that if the filmmakers work hard enough, they can pull something together that has value. Said attempt success in that regard has been spotty, but you at least understand where films like Ghostbusters Afterlife or the sequel trilogy are coming from. And then you got films like Twisters. I don't get it. Not only is it a sequel to a movie that turns 28 this year, but it isn't even one that's had that much staying power or is remembered all that fondly by most of the general public. I mean, I know the first Twister has its fans, but it's not some pop cultural milestone and doesn't even have that big a cult following to my knowledge. It's just sort of an above average 90s disaster movie, nothing more. This sets this sequel apart from things like Top Gun Maverick. Even if that movie wasn't good, its existence would still be a little more justifiable simply due to the first Top Gun having left much more of an impact than a movie like Twister. The original Top Gun may be silly 80s schlock, it's debatably a good movie, but it is definitely an iconic one, and so it makes some sense to return to it 30 plus years later. The same goes for Independence Day and its sequel, even if that one sucked. Or so I've heard. I don't know. I didn't watch it. Did you? Both of those original movies, while of questionable degrees of quality, did have enough lasting power to justify a continuation. This is closer to making a sequel to something like 2012 or Unstoppable. Like, just... Why? Who was asking for this story to continue? Who demanded the Twister universe be expanded upon by making a sequel 28 years later? I guess to all three people who wanted that, this is your lucky year. I know who it won't be a lucky year for though, the studios financially backing this film, because I cannot imagine a world in which it turns a profit, because again, I just don't see where the majority of the audience lies. Then again, maybe it's not trying to appeal to Twister fans. Maybe it's just trying to target a general demographic, you know, average moviegoers. People who don't tie themselves to particular franchises and are just regular Joes and Joannas who want to go out and watch a movie on a Friday night without having to think too hard about it. God, I envy that sometimes. But if that's true, then why bother with the name? Why not make a new Tornado movie? Why tie yourself to this franchise which previously only had one other movie attached to it? thus making it a franchise. This, to me, is the end result of scraping the bottom of the barrel, just desperately searching for anything with even the slightest hint of an audience in the hopes that it'll give them something to capitalize on. And for that reason alone, I oppose this movie. That's not to say I hate it, it isn't even out yet, and in the unlikely event that I do check it out, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised by it. But for the time being, the only opinion I can have on it that's fair is that I am in opposition to its existence. Again, not saying this movie in particular is set up to be one of the worst. I just don't like what it being made at all is representative of. What is the world coming to when we've gone from running out of original ideas and instead turning to capitalizing on older properties, to now running out of properties to capitalize on and having to turn to things like Twister? You might think I'm overblowing it, but that's only because I am. You know what though, it really sucks because I would actually appreciate a decent blockbuster one of these days. I don't need all my movies to be high art. I want my theme park rides, but I still want good theme park rides. 
And as of right now, it seems like all we're getting is shitty theme park rides. Even roller coasters need to be well engineered. Because if they're not, then the whole fucking thing derails. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and until next time, see ya.